The Discourses of Epictetus, Book 1, Chapter 24, How We Should Struggle with Circumstances. It is circumstances and difficulties that show what men are. Therefore, when the difficulty falls upon you, remember that God, like a trainer of wrestlers, has matched you with a rough young man. For what purpose, you may say? Why, that you may become an Olympic conqueror, but it is not accomplished without sweat. In my opinion, no man has had a more profitable difficulty than you have had if you choose to make use of it as an athlete would deal with a young antagonist we are now sending a scout to rome but no man sends a cowardly scout who if he only hears a noise and sees a shadow anywhere comes running back in terror and reports that the enemy is close at hand so now if you should come and tell us fearful is the state of affairs at rome terrible is death terrible is exile terrible is calumny terrible is poverty fly my friends the enemy is near we shall answer be gone prophecy for yourself we have committed only one fault that we sent such a scout diogenes who was sent as a scout before you made a different report to us he says that death is no evil for nisa is a base he says that fame reputation is the noise of madman and what has this spy said about pain about pleasure and about poverty he says that to be naked is better than any purple robe and to sleep on the bare ground is the softest bed and he gives as a proof of each thing that he affirms his own courage his tranquility his freedom and the healthy appearance and compactness of his body there is no enemy near he says all is peace how so diogenes see he replies if i am struck if i have been wounded if i have fled from any man this is what a scout ought to be but you come to us and tell us one thing after another will you not go back and you will see clearer when you have laid aside fear what then shall i do what do you do when you leave a ship do you take away the helm or the oars what then do you take away you take what is your own your bottle and your wallet and now if you think of what is your own you will never claim what belongs to others the emperor domidian says lay aside your lattice see i put on the augusta clave lay aside this also see i only have my have only my toga lay aside your toga see i am now naked but you still raise my envy take then all my poor body when at a man's command i can throw away my poor body do i still fear him but a certain person will not leave to me the succession to his estate what then had i forgotten that not one of these things was mine how then do we call them mine just as we call the bed in the inn if then the innkeeper at his death leaves you the beds all well but if he leaves them to another he will have them and you will seek another bed if then you shall not find one you will sleep on the ground only sleep sleep with a good will and snore and remember that tragedies have their place among the rich and kings and tyrants but no poor man fills a part in a tragedy except as one of the chorus kings indeed commence with prosperity ornament the palace with garlands then about the third or fourth act they call out o cisterion why didst thou receive me slave where are the crowns where are the diadem the guards help thee not at all when then you approach any of these persons remember this that you are approaching a tragedian not the actor but oedipus himself but you say such a man is happy for he walks about with many and i also place myself with the many and walk about with many in some remember this the door is open be not more timid than little children but as they say when the thing does not please them i will play no longer so do you when things seem to you of such a kind say i will no longer play and be gone but if you stay do not complain